Do you have lower back pain, knee pain, hip pain, IT band syndrome, runner's knee? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you the one release technique that honestly can help completely eliminate, or at the very least, greatly diminish all of those symptoms. And if you don't have those, this is a fantastic, fantastic tool you can use to increase your hip, mo hip mobility and also start to get more power in your hips. Those of you guys who don't know me, my name's Evan. I basically use exercise and massage to solve injuries and increase human function, okay? So today, this is our TFL release, okay? I use a softball. You can buy a fancy expensive massage ball. I don't see the point. You also could use a lacrosse ball, a baseball. I like a softball because it's big. Anyways, Enough about that. So what we're gonna do, this is the TFL. So it's tensor fascia latte, but without giving the boring anatomy, and I'm gonna scoot closer to the camera. It's this hip right here, okay? You see this? This hip muscle, let's just call it that. All right, so you got a little bone right here. It's right, right to the side of that bone, and you'll feel some meat there, okay? It's pretty meaty. Why am I spending so much time on this? Because if you don't do the right spot, it's completely useless. So you find that meat and you can mark it. But what we're gonna do is, we're actually gonna lay down. Now if you're old and you wanna do this, or less mobile, you can actually do it in a bed. If you work in a hospital, put your patients on this one's a great one. So you're gonna lay on your side, okay? I call this sleeper, whatever. Now I'm gonna take my ball and I'm gonna put it right on that spot where my thumb is. How do I get the ball in? Well, put a foot down, lift your hips up, Right, or if you have a really hard time, you can go into a little side plank. And here, okay? Now, in this position, with my feet, say my foot is down like this in front or in back, that way I can moderate how much pressure. For a lot of people, this is gonna hurt like, okay? And it should, I mean it should. So, what I'm gonna do, from here, nothing. <laughs> hold it, everyone asks me, how long do you hold it? Hold it until you feel like it hurts a lot and then you're gonna not hold it, okay? This is a super loaded, tight area. There's a lot of sensitivity. There's a lot of, what do I used to call it? Discomfort, okay? Now, once you feel like, okay, I've held it, I'm going to roll a little bit to the side. Just a little bit, this little turn, okay? I see people doing all this crazy. For this one, you don't need to roll all crazy, okay? Just a little to the side. And the closer I get to that bone in the front, oh my God, it hurts. Now, if this bothers your shoulder, you can lay flat, right? Just be wary that sometimes when you lay flat, it increases the pressure. I like to lay flat. And if you're an absolute savage, you can lift this leg. And if you just, you know, want to be a monster and destroy it, lift both feet. Okay? Now, we've roll, you roll forward, okay? And you can go all the way forward, it's a different technique. But I want us to roll the ball back. Just a little bit and a little higher, a little back right there. Oh my. Now we're coming off the TFL into the glute medius, but it's basically like almost the same muscle due to the fascia. So it's just, it's just right there, right? And you hold it and you hold it 15, 20 seconds a spot. All in all, like it should take about a minute or two. And if you want a little extra at the end, what I like to do is I'll kind of roll back and forth really slow and you'll feel a speed bump. Boom, 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 and hold, okay? That's it for that TFL release. It's something, I'll end with this. You're not going to be able to stretch that. Yes, you can do all the lunging and all the hip flex and all the Bulgarians you want, but you're not going to be able to stretch that TFL. You need to release it. Trust me. It's a tried and true method. You need to release it. This single release has solved so many people's problems. That's why I felt so obligated to make a video. So get a ball, try it, make sure it hurts. I know it sounds counterintuitive. Take your time, but don't spend more than two, three minutes. And last but not least, how often can you do it? Every single day. All right, folks, I'm Evan. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.